Today we are going to discuss about third party process, which is nothing but MM and ST integration part. Okay. In this process, I will uh, tell you a small example. Most of the companies will not manufacture all the products which they are selling. They will manufacture some products and for remaining products, they will do these kind of third party process. And also in other case, like in second case, in some scenarios, even though company manufacture the products and if the stock is not available in their stores and if they want to sell to the customer, if they want to send to the customer, but the stock is not available in their inventory, at that point of time also, they will use this third party process. Okay. Well, let me give you a small example. If you go to a bookshop, bookstore if you want to uh, buy a book uh, notebook of uh, for example 30 rupees notebook uh, if you ask the uh, shopkeeper that i want 30 rupees notebook of white notebook then the shopkeeper uh, check in their inventory and he will say uh, like the notebook is not available could you please wait for some time i will take uh, you the book and and then he went to the another shop she take the book and give it to you Okay, and then you can pay to the shopkeeper and also who is the another vendor, she taken book right from another shop, she will also charge us the shopkeeper and shopkeeper will charge us you. Okay, this is called IPO, individual purchase order. But here, the small change here is they take the book and give it to you, right? This is called individual purchase order. In third party process, what happens is the same scenario. If you go to, uh, if you order any uh, item, okay, the shopkeeper will not deliver from their premises, from their shop. Okay. The shopkeeper tell to the another vendor, like, please deliver to this customer and then I will pay to you some amount to, re regarding that notebook. And then what happens is that respect to vendor, the shopkeeper who said to the another uh, vendor, he will deliver the, that notebook to you. And then vendor will charge to shopkeeper and shopkeeper will charge. Okay. This is the process here. Do you understand the difference between them? Here we have two types. Third party business process and two types low usage as a system. Okay. One is without shipping notification, third party process without notification. And next thing is with shipping notification. Okay. First, let us talk about without shipping notification and then we will go for uh, with shipping notification. Okay. Here, what happens is whenever the customer orders some product to the company, okay, company will under this company will rise in purchase order to the external vendor. The vendor will deliver the product to the customer. And then the vendor charges the amount to the company, right? Vendor is delivering the to the customer, but we are ordering it. So vendor will pay. I mean, the company needs to pay to the vendor. That's the reason why the vendor will rise in invoice to the company. Based on that invoice raised by the vendor, the company will rise in invoice to the customer. Okay. Then the customer will pay amount to the company and we need to pay amount to the vendor. This is the business process here. Why here without shipping notification? Because whenever the vendor is delivering uh, the product to the customer, he will not intimate or update us. After delivering, the goods to the customer, then he will rise an invoice to us. During the delivery time, he will not update us. See, uh, uh, hi, I'm sending some so-and-so goods to so-and-so customer as you are uh, an order to us, right? Like that, the vendor will not update us. 
after dealt with the goods, he directly writes an invoice to the company. So we got invoice. Uh, I I mean share. Uh, I got some invoice from vendor. So I need to charge that amount to the customer, right? So I will write in building document like building invoice to the customer. This is the business process of third party without shipping notification. Okay. And then coming to with shipping notification. Here, similar process, a quite change will be happen. Customer will rise in order to the company uh, for so and so product, some X metal X, some X product. Company will rise in order to the vendor. And in purchase order, the company will maintain the delivery address to the customer so that vendor will deliver the product to the customer. Here, the vendor during the delivery time he will update us like she will give us some shipping notification okay based on that we will receive the goods into our inventory but here the migo will be a dummy migo okay the win inventory will not updated into our plant or our storage location okay it is a dummy migo we have some controls over uh, in the back end system based on that the migo will be taken as a dummy migo okay after goods is it, we will rise in invoice to the customer. Okay. Here, there is no invoice will be available because the vendor already told to us, like, I am shipping the product to the customer. Based on that, we will do a MyGo, goods is it, but the system is considered as a dummy MyGo and it will not post any stock postings into our inventory. And then we will based on that my go we will recreate an building document invoice to the customer this is the business process of with shipping notification okay do you understand the difference between them just a small difference here we use myro transaction which is nothing but a vendor invoice here we use my go transaction that is the difference okay do not confuse that's only the simple difference any questions here Make business at the meta. Next, we will go for the configuration part. Any any doubts here? Okay. Now let us go the SAP system. So uh Today, let us first start with without shipping notification, and then uh, we will discuss about the with shipping notification. Okay, first we will do this scenario without shipping notification. Okay. 